Welcome back to the Constant Complete Podcast, featuring myself, Spencer, and my friend Matt with the NFL Gaming TV, and from a place with no name, Fizzcake. How's it going? Uh, pretty good. Actually, the name is Alton, Illinois. Uh, oh, we, shit. You just gave people can't... your city. Now they can steal everything you have and send people to your house. Well, I mean, it, there's like a bunch of suburbs and whatnot, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I live yeah. in, in a semi-sketchy neighborhood, so... Oh, you're giving them more gonna... information, dude. They're going to find well, I'm you. Just saying, I'm just saying, you're hanging on my side of town. Your tires are going to be gone, okay? Not not because of my neighbors or anything. I'm, I'm going to steal your tires. That's just, oh, that's I got bad. you. I got that's you. Just, that's we just heard about the tire thief. Oh, all, no. He's, 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 the... he's national. The tire thief. <laughs> he was, uh, you never know the ones that betray you that are the closest to you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. Nailed it. All right. <laughs> All right, Fizzcake. Tell me what you played this. Well, tell us, everyone, what you played this week. Oh, I was just, I was just going to tell you guys, but I guess I'll let everybody else know. Um, yeah. You probably should don't do talk uh, while I'm moving. Awkward. <laughs> don't make any goddamn sense. Um, I'll start off with the games that I've been playing for my YouTube channel. Uh, I've been playing more of the Doki Doki Lit Club, mm-hmm. which yeah. it's, I'm finally getting to the point where like i think stuff's gonna start happening because everybody read each other's poems um it's getting weird it's yeah my, the the leader the club leader's kind of already kind of weird because she's like telling me like specific facts about other characters she's like oh yeah i read your poem i liked it i guess it looked like you're clearly going for yuri with that poem weren't you i'm like how did you know what the what hell the fuck <laughs> How did also, you get out of my head? I always wanted to know because the part I saw was just when people were revealing their poems. Uh, mm. Do you have any like say in what your poems like actually is about? Um, before that happens, there's like a quick little mini game where uh, you just basically it shows you like a list of words, and the pretext for that is, uh, all right, I guess you should pick words that best suit the character or best suit the girl that you want to. Um, uh, to talk with or whatever. Mm. How's and it then, going, uh, Corn? What's up, Corin? Corin. Um, and every time you click a letter, one of the girls will like they have like little uh, small versions of the girls hanging out in the corner, and oh. like if you pick a word that they like, they jump up excited or whatever. Oh God. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so it's like you do like twenty words of that, and then uh, when you do the poem revealing, it's you can like tell. Like you're like obviously love the poem. Hey, but how's nobody it going, else... Liftinger? Liftinger? Liftinger! What's going on? But like nobody else really said anything other than like, oh well, that's not my favorite poem, but it's all right. But Yuri's like, oh wow, this is so deep and whatnot. But Monica is like, well, yeah, well that makes sense because you're. It looks. It seems like you're going after Yuri for your interest or whatever. Anyway, here's my poem. That's kind of <laughs> weird. Mm. And like what I read it like. I actually got chills. I've never had chills They're before in my entire life. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it was really weird. I'm like, I've never had this before. Is this what a chill is? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was like, oh, God. Oh, God. He's going to kill me. <laughs> well, no, I didn't. I didn't get 120% horny. That was no, a question. Not... No. 120% horny. Is that what that means? Apparently. I, that, that's what I understood purring, purring as is just 120% horny. Mm. Gotcha, gotcha. That's one hundred percent true. All right, what else? You... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have. Uh, I've uh, played a little bit more of Cuphead. I was going to uh, switch not, in and out of it, just in not, case something um, crazy happened here. Go ahead. Sorry, having... I'm talking to Spencer. Go ahead. <laughs> no, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, played a little bit more of Cuphead. Uh, nice. Um, nothing crazy. Actually, I haven't. Wait, no. Oh, no, God. <laughs> this this week's videos are from last week's recording. So no, mm-hmm. I haven't played Cuphead yet, but I will be playing it tonight after the show. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna probably give it one more time, one more chance to play it for like another half hour, hour or so. And uh, if I'm not really going anywhere with it, I'll probably disband that and start playing. Um, uh, what's the word? Probably start playing uh, near Automata. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, Can't cool. wait for Bring that. that yeah, this cake's voice is desync to him. Oh shit. Yeah, I, I, I think that I... might just be X Split doing that because sometimes that does happen just because of like the connection and all that. Yeah, when I uh, opened up for my X Split, uh, they said they told me to like uh, delay my 
camera by like 550 milliseconds or something but that's weird what yeah yeah, yeah that's actually yeah. a long time too that's weird i might have been because uh, i was using elgato i don't know liftinger uh is your is it the same for you but um because we're ready to fix problems we're gonna fix them so hard so I haven't played that, but I'll give that another chance. If I still am stuck on the bosses I've been playing against, I will probably just switch to Nier Automata so we can do our spoiler cast for that. Woo! I actually have to play it. <laughs> oh, no. That, no, no, I mean, okay. I like it. I just, uh, there's so many games. There are way too many fucking games. Um, so I did those. Uh, oh, I've been playing Shadow of War. Nice. Uh, I've... I'm I'm at the Shadow Wars now. Damn. Yeah. How far are you guys there? Uh, not quite. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> not, quite. <laughs> not quite. Yeah. I think we just got to the part where the one guy is like a traitor. A uh, bruise. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was trying to be like. You know, maybe not spoilery, but okay. Yeah. Oh fine. no. Yeah, we had to ruin hey, it for guys. everyone. Fist kick. When you mind control some people, they they don't are always uh, loyal to you because for some reason orcs are complicated. Orcs are people too. God. Yeah. Um, um, we're not talking know. about that guy. Yeah, we're not talking about that guy. <laughs> no, yeah, we're talking about not, the traitor yeah. in the in the in the first city. Yeah. In the first. He has uh, a daughter. Oh, oh. Well, now you're okay. Don't do that. No, now you're. <laughs> <laughs> now Matt's spoiling it. No. You're spoiling the first hour of the game. God damn it. Okay, well. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, that's how so far we've gotten. I'm, so, like, I'm nowhere. far ahead of you. I will say, up to Shadow Wars, I enjoyed the game. Mm-hmm. It's, it's been fun. It's been, like, a lot of shit to do. I just like to, like, my, my strategy is to, like, not kill any of the orcs and just dominate them and just overrun the fortress with pure numbers. Mm-hmm. Um, but now I'm in the Shadow Wars segment. Not a huge fan of it. Not because of like the fact that I have to defend my fortress from overpowered bullshit orcs. Yeah. Twice so far, I've had to like defend each fortress like twice, I think, which I don't quite understand that. But um, I'll, I'll have to wait for you guys to kind of get into that part of the game, and like we'll have to do a spoiler cast about that because I don't want to spoil anything, and, mm-hmm. it, and it's kind of hard to talk about the things I specifically dislike about it hey how's it going usa voyager what's up voyager? Hey, could voyager. you do us a favor and see if uh fist cake is desynced like if his Sound speech is, is coming through and then you see his mouth move afterwards yeah like this hopefully my voice is synced up with me okay that should be <laughs> killed that it. should be fairly that should be fairly easy to figure out <laughs> um so been playing that i think i'll probably finish that later on tonight um if i can it's just so much bullshit because, like, at the point, there's like, there's so much going on when you're trying to defend these fortresses or attack these fortresses that suddenly you're down for a reason you can't even like figure out. Mm-hmm. But when you have like five captains with like different abilities, like the guy has like rapid fire crossbows that are poisonous, and then there's a giant tank orc that's like trying to smash you. Yeah, and it's just like I don't. There's there's too much. Either like tone it down, just like a couple notches, or or, or like, give me, I guess, I guess let me use all the upgrades I have access to instead of, like, having to pick from them, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That still, that still yeah. pisses me off. About halfway <laughs> through uh, Wednesday's stream, I forgot that you can only have one of those things active at a time. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, oh, just buy this one. This one sounds cool. Uh, I'll yeah. buy this one. And then I'm like, oh, shit. What? Yeah. yeah you can only so use far, one. what yeah. I played, I'm not really that impressed. Yeah. Sorry, I took the wrong time to take a drink. Um, yeah, no, it's not. It's not. It's kind of hard to explain. It's like not the best. Ge- it's a solid game, I guess, but it's not the best game. And the coolest part about the game is kind of like just muddled down and like shitty at the during the Shadow Wars, which is like the nemesis uh-huh. system and you controlling them and whatnot. But um. So I played a couple hours on that on my stream from last Friday. Yeah. And I played a couple, actually I played like an hour and a half of Fortnite because I only had one person. Kim Pop popped in for the first five minutes of my four hour stream. Yeah. And nobody else was there at all. <laughs> it's like, no. well. Yeah. Yeah, that was us in Melee yesterday. No one came in. Yeah. 
And so I just cut it off like a half hour early. I'm like, oh, I'll just quit it. But um, holy shit, they, they've been updating Fortnite, and I did not know that at all. Oh, nice. They have like leaderboards and shit, and you can customize your character with uh, items and shit now. Mm. That's pretty and cool. Still, and still free, by the way. Just, just throwing that out there, PUBG. Come, come. No. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it's still a lot of fun. I, I, I enjoyed playing the little bit I had with it. Um, nothing else too exciting really about it. It's just a solid game for free. If you have a PlayStation Four or whatever, I'd recommend getting Fortnite before getting PUBG. If you're more of a casual person. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. And, and if you're if you're trying to get into PUBG, t- too late. You're not gonna. <laughs> you're not gonna make it. <laughs> yeah. Unless you've watched hours and hours of someone else play, and even then, because well, you have to get that, all the yeah. strategies and stuff like that. That's the big thing. Is like the decision making and like knowing where to land and like knowing what to go for and all that shit. You know. Strategies and lot like a lot of the experience of like when to shoot, how to how to shoot distance all that fun stuff but yeah and bullet drop and stuff yeah um but that's it for me what have you guys been playing this week well uh we played actually quite a bit so we did tales of azuria uh mm-hmm. on monday and that was pretty good um we're getting farther and farther in that so there's the we told you last week about this like crazy thing where everything kind of circled around uh, and you you find yourself back in the same town that you started in and it's like oh, a yeah, like step for wives like thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like everybody just kind of like, oh yeah, what, what are you talking about? That that never happened or whatever. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. Should we go further yeah. with that? We'll probably tell the opposite after the stream. We don't want to ruin it for anybody else. But some some right. oh like oh shit happens. Um, but yeah, that game is <laughs> <Duh>. still that <laughs> that uh, that uh, that game's still pretty good. Like it's it's it feels oh, like story wise, oh. it's getting better. We also got into a big argument yeah. in, in the middle oh. of it. Yeah. Oh, nice. What was what was yeah. the argument about? Uh, well, I wasn't uh, I wasn't playing very well in a particular uh, battle, mm-hmm. and I got salty because uh, I wasn't able to get like I wasn't pl- able to play that the way that I wanted to. Mm-hmm. And Matt was like, "Yo, yo, just do this, just do this, right?" And I'm like, "Ah, that, what?" And like I, you know, it's one of those things where you're playing and you're like tunnel visioning, and you hear what the other guy's saying, but you're like, nah, what I'm doing, it'll work if I just, like, keep doing it over and over. If I, if I just man versus game it, then eventually it'll work. And then uh, afterwards, you know, be, be, because I, I'd asked Matt, like, okay, well, what should I have done? And he's like, you should have done this. And I'm like, no. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> uh, and then Matt was like, yo, l- 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 yo, why are you why are you asking for my opinion if you're just going to, like, anti me? So, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that, that, that's understandable. Yeah, you just get, you, you're playing the game, and you just you want to do it the way you want to do it. And it should fucking work like it, like you wanted to, because it's worked so many times before. But the, the well, strategy the, was the, not going to work. The, yeah. the thing yeah. is, is that the, his strategy works on trash mobs, yeah, like mm. low level, but they don't work on bosses. Well, because bosses have yeah. a bunch of other uh, stuff they do to you. They like um, p- they paralyze you, or they stun you, or they use their mm. you know the, their moves like you have to avoid them. You can't just like tank it. And so I was oh, just getting yeah, hit by yeah. stuff, and I wasn't getting out of the way of things well enough. I- to be fair, I will say that's kind of like one of the hard things in dealing with like Tales of games is like once you get to the point where you're just kind of breezing through trash mobs and shit, mm. it's kind of hard to transition from that to the boss fight until like yeah, half your party's dead. Yeah, you have to have like strategy and shit. Yeah, yeah you have to like, yeah. use your brain. <laughs> <laughs> like once you like realize like half your party's dead and you're dying, like wait, what happened to... Oh, well, what's oh, crazy I gotta try. Oh, is, God. The, is the thing that I was fighting, I ended up dying so many times I ran out of uh, potions. I think I went through like eight potions. Mm. Uh, well... Oh, life potions or life yeah, balls or whatever. Phoenix downs. Yeah. yeah, basically Phoenix downs. And so it got to the point where I couldn't bring myself back. Mm-hmm. And I didn't trust myself because I don't switch characters. You can switch characters and play as anybody else you want to and stuff like that, and that's yeah. pretty cool. But I don't switch characters. So all their loadouts when I'm playing as them are like not their newer shit. Or mm-hmm. it, it, if it is, I just don't know how to use it appropriately. So I let uh, I let the NPCs of my party, the last two, mm-hmm. just finish it off because I almost had it dead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to touch it. They'll figure it out. <laughs> and did they? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They oh, cool. beat it for me. They yeah. carried the team. Yeah, they carried it. Nice. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. we played that. We played Lucius on the on the Veil. The three of us. Uh, actually, Fistcake's playing that. That game is a train wreck, yeah. and so was that stream. Yeah, that stream, that stream had so that, many. To issues. be fair, the, the the stream wasn't a train wreck because of the game. The, the stream wasn't train wreck wreck because I haven't streamed in forever, and I kind of forgot. Oh, make sure people can hear the people you're talking to. Otherwise, it just sounds like you're talking to yourself. Mm-hmm. We had a whole mission where it was just Fistcake's audio. You couldn't hear us at all. So mm. 
uh, oh. all, all the bangers we were letting go, like jokes and shit. Oh, God. They were so funny, too. There were some really good ones. Was, yeah, then, well, the crazy part was, like, the chat didn't say anything until, like... Yeah, we had people in, in the chat, and no one mentioned it. We're, we're like, like hey, what we're the here. hell? <laughs> one person yeah, was like, like, oh, by were... the way, I haven't heard you guys at all. <laughs> Yeah, and the crazy thing Thanks. is, like, it seemed like they were interacting with you guys, but I think yeah, it's just we like, would we respond three. and stuff. Yeah, we're like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was really weird, but yeah. So next week's Lucius will be a lot better. This Tuesday, guarantee. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Jesus, time flies. Fuck this shit. I, I'm getting too old <laughs> I for quit this shit. life. I quit life. Bye. <laughs> uh, what else did we play? We played Shadow of War. Yeah. Uh, so far, I'm not impressed. A, a, not a, even like a little bit. A, a big old sigh, basically. Yeah. Um, so that's fair. Uh, uh, Matt can attest to this, but I'm uh, like, like basically, what we're we talking about, like, yeah, I mean, so like, I mean, w should we play this? And Matt's like, we should probably just continue to play Shadow of War, but like, yeah, but should we play this on Wednesday? Because <laughs> I'm having well, like. So, are you still in like the first city then? Uh, we are, I think, yeah. just about to go to the second area. Yeah, the second. Okay. Yeah, we just once you. Oh, Once you get done with Shelob's bullshit, it does open up. It does get a bit better. But yeah, like the first hour or so is just a bunch of stupid like train montages. Like, hey, all mm -hmm. right, I, I got your ring now, fucker. Mm -hmm. Go do this. The okay. plant here. Purify the plant here. Italian, we must purify the plant here. Ah. Ah. But yeah. Once when you I get start to... calling it, I start calling it like the palanter. Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> the planter. Um, but uh, once you get to your second area, yeah, I think you might enjoy it a little bit more. But I mean, you're not. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. hopefully the overall experience will be better. Also, the mm. I'm not playing the game, but it's 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 pretty like obvious from just even from a spectator standpoint that the the mechanics and management of the stuff that you're doing in that game mm. is also just kind of like it's just busy work. Yeah, it's just a bunch of busy work. Like yeah. man has to spend oh, yeah. like five to ten minutes. Like trying to just remember how like all the different like little stuff works, like the gems yeah. and the, the items and like going through and like okay, is this one's level five minutes. and this one's level seven, but the level five one's better. But like mm. you feel you like you should have the level seven one, but you go for the level five one because the stats are better, and just like weird yeah. shit like that where it's like how could they have something that's a lower what? level be better than something that's a higher level? We need to get to mix them with uh, legendary and epic shit because they have each yeah, different a, stats. We have a couple of those too. Yeah. yeah, and then you level up those. You level up the yeah, items the too. Yeah, the items are leveled up, and I was like, "What the fuck, dude?" Just you level your character stop. like in three different ways, and then you level up yeah. the items, and then you put gems inside the items to like mm -hmm. further level them. Yeah, it's uh, it's like a whole bunch of weird Ubisoft level of bullshit. Yeah. So, but whatever. Yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully, it opens up. We're still we're still giving it a chance. Um, I would I would suggest just giving like at least one more hour. Oh, we're gonna complete it. Streams. Oh, yeah. you're gonna complete. Uh, oh. Yeah, there's right. no question. Okay. <laughs> well, never mind. All right. Well, then uh, carry on and uh, hopefully. Uh, yeah. Even if we complete it, it's <laughs> uh, Just pissed off by the end of the game. God damn these fucking mm. orcs! I swear to fucking god. <laughs> and then I beat uh, fractured but whole. <laughs> and. I, I like I just I uh, I don't recommend it. Really? I don't. No, it's not as good as the first one. It's, How so? It's I don't know. It like the, the it's just not. It wasn't as funny to me. Mm. I'm not a big South Park fan anyway, so you have to take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. Nah. But um, <clears throat> I don't know. It just wasn't. The ending was really unsatisfactory. Um, Did it feel like it was almost like phoned in a bit, as far as like overall like flow and content? Well, I mean, and then there's no side quests. It's just like, oh, collect these, you know. So it's just the main storyline, basically. Yeah, that's just yeah. It, all the side quests are collectibles, um, and the ending is not very good. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It just like. Was there anything different or like s stuff you didn't like about the uh, the the combat mechanics? Or I, I think the combat is fine. I actually preferred mm. the first one because it's a little bit more like Paper Mario, and this one is more like ta more tactical tactics. And shit. Yeah, um, but like it's it's like it's such a thin layer, right? Because it doesn't it really doesn't matter. I died one time mm. the whole game, and that was literally because oh, I didn't know <laughs> the the way that the boss gimmick worked, and that was it. Mm. Um, so. Like it's like it doesn't 
if the game is easy as shit on normal difficulty, uh, and then mm. people were talking about how it's easy as shit on all difficulties, basically, like, yeah. then why even edit the combat system? Yeah. It doesn't make it any more engaging. It's the same amount of engagement because it's not any more difficult or any more strategic, really. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. I didn't like it. Uh, if I had to go back in time, I'd save my sixty dollars and not buy it. Well, hmm. there you go. That's a that's a pretty straightforward review. Um, I wonder if maybe they'll they'll take some of the criticism and because uh, it sounds like other people are having the same issue with at least the uh, difficulty of the game, and maybe they'll release either additional ending content and also uh, well, I mean, uh, try to rebalance. The, you can buy the hundred dollar gold pack, dude, and get oh, all the DLC. God damn! And I like the first Ooh. one a lot. Mm. And I and I like I can't stress this enough. I'm not a fan of South Park, yeah. so <clears throat> I was like, "Oh yeah, this will be sick" because I liked the first one a lot. No, so that's what I kind of heard about this fractured but whole is like it kind of panders to people who've been watching like the last few seasons or so. Mm-hmm. And it's a solid game, but it's not like really exciting other than mm-hmm. like, oh, huh, they made that reference to that one episode in like season nine or what or power me see. I don't yeah know yeah how yeah, many seasons it has. Um, but, there's yeah. another thing that I didn't like about it. Uh, there's no real ending boss fight. I hate that shit. What's up with games doing really? that nowadays? Yeah. Is it is it as bad as Shadow of Mordor? It's on par. On, oh no! <laughs> yeah. Why why do people do that? Like uh, fucking you work you, the whole game. You're working up and like mm-hmm. leveling up your character and you're making it better. And oh, then there's that supposed a, to be a payoff. A thing I didn't like is that they. Like you, they have this crafting system, but the crafting system is so dumb. Like, cause you can loot pretty, you can loot like a lot of shit. So you get all this like trash that you can't do anything with, uh, yeah. and then buy like probably maybe a little less than three fourths of the way in the game, your max level. Well, your max level uh, mm. crafting is maxed out, and I literally I just mass shit. Like I didn't know what any of it did. I was just like, I'll just do this, and then it'll be fine. And it was. <laughs> and, like, like, I didn't know, like, it, it's so tacked on and just, like, and you're, there's no, like, equipment bonuses or anything like that, so your costume literally doesn't mm-hmm. matter at all. No, Jesus. And uh, the classes, I, I talked about the classes last week, but, mm-hmm. like, the the way that they limit you to four moves is just, like nonsensical like eventually you unlock like everything yeah um and, and you can only pick four out of everything and you can only pick four out of like probably, probably like 50 moves jesus so you're like well i can do all this shit but like why would i deviate from what works from what works number yeah. one and number two mm. like all this stuff is like kind of specifically so like in its own class it works together so why would you, go, you can't even like, why would you multi-class like different shit when they don't really even meld together that well? Yeah, like it's weird that they gave you the ability to to mix and match without the uh, the game actually being able to uh, be versatile enough to to, w- allow to work that. things. Yeah, mm. yeah, but yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know, and they it's just like eh, like eh, it wasn't a good RPG. I mean, it was probably a good South Park episode, but like, as a game, I, like, eh, well, it wasn't really that fun. By the end of it, I was like, just in in my suffering, end it. <laughs> Throw I me be, in the trash. I'm only doing this at this point because I spent sixty dollars. Yeah. And sunk cost fallacy. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta, I have to beat it. Yeah. Like. <laughs> and uh, you did. And I did, and I, you know, like, <laughs> uh, and it took me a while to. I was like, did I really not like it? And I oh, thought yeah. about it. Yeah. I've thought about it for since I beat it. I think I beat it on like Tuesday or something. And I was been thinking about this the whole time. Like, did I like it? I don't think I did. I didn't like it. Yeah, I've <laughs> I, I've, I've, I've ran into that feeling before where it's like you don't want to not like something, and you almost feel like like you should like it because because like you, you like the first game and like mm-hmm. or you know there's, there's that yeah, weird feeling. Yeah, the whole feeling. time I'm thinking this should be funner. This should be more fun. I should be having more fun than I am. Hey, how's it <laughs> going, uh, Butternut? Better not. Yeah. Um, but I was not. So I mean, but like you know, like everybody says, if you're a fan of South Park, then yeah, it's probably a good twelve-hour South Park episode. Yeah, story-wise, at least that's worse. 
when you really, really, really want to like something, but no. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's that's always the worst. Yeah. Um, especially when you spend sixty dollars on it. So it's just like I should have just waited for it to be cracked. Then I wouldn't have been as disappointed. <laughs> Not that I would ever buy or download anything. I'm just saying. Not that we can do that. Um, um, and then we play Destiny Two. Yeah, Matt and I, uh, we both got Destiny Two on PC, and we're playing that. We played uh, it for about three or four hours yesterday. Yeah, and it's it's fun. Um, yeah. From what Matt says, there's certain things like the way they give you loot is updated because I didn't play Destiny One. Yeah. But and um, I binged it in like three days. The combat is fun. Uh, it's Halo. It's it's Halo basically. I didn't. Oh, sweet. F- yeah, I didn't feel like, in, in in my own opinion, the classes don't feel like they matter. Um, they uh, only matter think, for abilities. No, I think they definitely matter in PvP and stuff like that. In yeah. raids. Well, if mm. but during PvE stuff, it, they don't matter. No, yeah, you basically just shoot stuff. You you don't even really have to. There's never a time where I felt like I had to use my ability, my super like damage ability that you get, uh, mm. to 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 beat somebody or to get some kind of advantage. I'm just like, okay, shoot them in the head more. Yeah. Um. There's and so <laughs> it, it's harder. a little bit disappointing to me that there's not more integration or like. Because the abilities you get are like you have a jump uh, uh, thing that, you know, it, 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 you know, one ability affects the way you jump or you glide or whatever. One ability mm-hmm. is like a super attack ability that, that you only get the, the cooldown on. It's like ridiculously long. It's like you use it once or twice in a whole mission. Hey, thanks for the bits, man. Hey, thanks for the bits, Corin. Corin that's, that's awesome. Ready to uh, go, Corin. It's hard to stay mad now. No, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not really mad cause, because I, I still think it's fun, but it's just the, the abilities don't feel like... In PvE, I don't think they matter that much. Yeah. Um, like, I had one ability where I, because I'm playing a Warlock, I could have, like, a, a healing circle, and I forgot about it. Like, every time, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I got this. I got to use that, because, like, you know, it's the only other ability. So you have three things. And so I'm like, okay, okay, I'll do this. Oh, and then you have grenades, so I guess four things. And then I just never, I never had to. I never, you know. Yeah. Never thought about it. Mm. Yeah, no problem, Butternut. I mean, we, we take care of our own here at NGTV and <laughs> uh, Fitzcake Inc., and uh, Com- Comcast, Com- Comcast LLC. Um, uh, but yeah, <clears throat> the loot chest, I got more loot chests in the four or five hours that we played this time than I got in the whole Destiny game, the first one. And we're only level seven. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, we're almost about to unlock uh, the other, because each class has like three variations, like subclasses to them. So we're about to unlock our second variation probably here pretty soon. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, like like the combat's it's it's solid. It's Halo, it's, it's which Halo. is fun. It, yeah, it um it doesn't feel overly floaty. Uh, if you if you make a mistake or miss something, it feels like it's your fault, not the game's fault, type scenario. So mm-hmm. it's like it's tight. It's like the controls. Yeah. Um, it's also um, we're also playing on a computer, so. I say I never like really gave a shit about the Destiny games until you guys said like, oh, it plays like Halo. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. now kind of interested in it because I like I've. I've always understood like as being like more focused, like oh, you gotta play with the clan, you gotta do these goddamn raids, oh, no. you gotta get these shaders yeah. and all that shit. Mm-mm. But just because you just said it plays like Halo, I'm like oh, yeah, yeah. I, I miss Halo. I might yeah. play it, you know. No, I yeah, love yeah, the yeah it's dramatic staring by Fisk. Well, all right, let me get more dramatic. <laughs> oh God. Bow 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 bow. Bam! I might uh, check it out actually. Um. So yeah, that's cool. I'm glad you guys are enjoying uh, more Destiny 2. And hello, Angel Wolf 2004 on the Con Comcast chat. Hey, Yay. how's it going? Back from Narnia. What's up? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, oh yeah. By the way, guys, anybody who's in the, in, in the Nanothal Gaming TV uh, uh, stream, we are actually dual streaming this to our Con Comcast as well, which is our official Content Complete mm-hmm. Podcast stream. And if we wanted to catch us for Into the Veil, you got to go over to that one to watch us because we only stream there for on Tuesdays. Yeah. Um, when we play Lucius, but I just wanted to make sure to let everyone know that that was a thing. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, so Destiny 2 is pretty good so far, uh, minus the things that I was, uh, you know, s- s- saying. Like, it's mostly just expectations on my part. Um, and then also the the weapon loot system feels like the weapons you get don't matter. You just like okay, on to the next one. You just like get a di- you just get a different one, and like it's a different type of weapon, and it, it's just like okay, well, it's not a scout rifle like I had before, which I like, but it's it still does more damage. So well, I the thing switch. about that is, is that we're doing PVE, right? Yeah, and I already yeah. mentioned that the your shit, um, uh, it doesn't like during PVE, it really doesn't matter. I pick like if I have a revolver, 
I'm sticking with the revolver till I get a better revolver. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. switching to a different gun. I, I was just switching to different guns. I was like, this one does more damage. <laughs> <laughs> Although I had one auto pistol that was fucking trash. And I'm like, get get rid of this stupid. And Matt's like, yeah, just uh, just get rid of the stuff you're not using. Just every time, just keep on to that. Which, for the most part, great advice. Mm. Um, but was not good advice when it came to the fact that I switched to this shitty auto pistol and then couldn't switch out. So, but yeah, uh, yeah I mean, that's basically what we played. We and also did, we did Smash uh, and Melee. Yeah, yeah, we did we did a Melee stream on Saturday, and, and actually this morning we did a five hour Smash Four and Melee Net Play stream, which actually went pretty well. Yeah, I well, got wrecked. Spencer had the fight of his life. Yeah, I had a pretty good match. Uh, awesome. We played Effie Corn. It was a lot a lot of fun to play against. Yeah, yeah. And that is what we did. All right, so moving hey, on. Hey, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow. Bam, 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 bam. So moving on to our first actual topic of the day, and it's actually later than usual. Um, Good thing, because we don't have that many topics. Yeah. Uh, so uh, <laughs> this is actually some old news. So we want to get this out of the way. Uh, EA shut down Visceral Games, which is the developers for Dead Space. And according to one of the developers, uh, it basically was a mercy killing. <laughs> That's what they were saying. Yeah. So they were in the midst of making a single-player story-based Star Wars? Star Wars game. Yeah. And apparently it was a mess. Like, it was jacked up um really mm -hmm. so i think that was a, a big reason why they closed it and then everybody was like well what happened like is 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 triple a publishers shutting down um fucking single player games no yeah. i think that star wars game was just like it was going to be trash they like pushed it back to like 2019 or something like that. Yeah, it just wasn't going well. It wasn't going well. It was a mess. So yeah. So they're like, you know what? Yeah, you know, you guys made Dead Space. You're done. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I'm reading this here, and apparently it's even more complicated than that. So I guess Dead Space 3 didn't meet expectations on the uh, the publisher's end. So then it compelled the studio to take on Battlefield Hardline. We all know how that went. And uh, a smaller part of the studio began work on an open world pirate game, codenamed Jamaica. But that was canned oh. and then replaced by Space Scoundrel, a Star Wars game called Yuma, after EA made its exclusive video game deal. So they were working on this pirate game, and then they switched over again over to uh, uh, the Star Wars game. Mm -hmm. And then from there, basically, it just wasn't so much a comedy of errors, errors as a slow, sad decline driven by indecision, indifference, and nervousness. So This is what EA is saying about their closing of um No, this is what visceral... one, one of the Visceral game employees was saying. was just like It just like oh, okay. ended slow and... Sad. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah, the, uh, the, the Dead Space 3 thing, if I remember correctly, people didn't enjoy that a whole lot because it kind of, like, introduced too many new things, like doing co-op and it's supposed to be, like, a, uh, um, a horror survival game. Mm. Yeah. And also doing... And, like, I and think that was, like, the... around the time when the DLCs kind of first started popping up. And yeah. people didn't really enjoy the like weapon pack DLCs for that game. They're like, oh god, this is. Well, they meh. they also sold cheat codes as uh, microtransactions. Oh, the, oh my god, oh, that really? was one of the first games that. that did that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, holy shit. Boy. Yeah, that's right. Also, yeah. on top of that, no the uh, <laughs> like the week or even the month that the game came out had a terrible connection issues between co-op players over the internet. Mm -hmm. um, oh, wow. So it yeah. was even hard for people to just play the game with their friends. Yeah. Jesus. So. All of that put together, I, I like I, I almost don't feel like the game was that bad as much as just everything surrounding the game. Um, but I've also heard that the game was just also not like not up to par. Yeah. Well, after Dead Space Two, I mean that was like, this game has changed the face of horror games everywhere. And then Dead Space Three is just like, what this the game fuck? This game a co-op game. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could play it in single like, oh, player. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, and then they're like, oh, but the microtransactions let you buy, you know, upgrade parts and shit like that. Bitch! I just mm. used to enter a cheat code. That used to work. Now I gotta pay you 250 Yeah. I'm get sure I'm sure people here. found ways of just like, you know, cheat engines and all that to to get that done, mm. th that stuff done for themselves. Maybe. Yeah. The greatest cheat of all was not playing that game. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, it kind of... And it kind of sucks that like the guy shut down just because they couldn't finish one game. But I yeah. mean, if I feel like okay. if it's a guy, if it's the guy from Visceral saying that, then maybe there's like maybe they're all just not feeling it anymore. I guess maybe they're just like we're burnt out. We've been trying to make this goddamn Star Wars game for like two year, two plus years now, and it's not going Jesus anywhere. Christ. 
It's not going anywhere. Just yeah, thank you. Thank thanks for mm-hmm. <laughs> just cutting us off. Yeah, it almost feels like they they just couldn't get anything going. Like they you know, it's just like yeah. they couldn't get okay, you know, we haven't released a game in like a while and like nothing's mm-hmm. happening. Yeah. yeah. I could see how people could get like just people in general could get frustrated with that. Uh, because it's stressful, you know. And then plus, I bet you it doesn't help that EA is probably breathing down their necks, going, "Why? How, why is this such a mess? Well, you know, why yeah. are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Well, mm-hmm. How many games do we have to can that you're making for you to learn why your you lesson? <laughs> more loot boxes. Mm-hmm. More loot boxes. Mm-hmm. We want to be more like Warner Brothers. Oh God, oh, God, no! I forgot to put this in the doc. But did you hear about that Activision patent thing? I what did not. happened with that? We're going on to that. It's the next. It's the next. Just like random. What's going on I, with that? I completely forgot to bring that up, but like I've been hearing like last couple podcasts, but Activision made a patent for specific matchmaking things. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. I completely forgot about that. I completely um, forgot about that too. Where yeah. they, they pitch you, they matchmake you with uh, people who have bought the DLC. So that'll mm. incline you to buy the DLC when you see, oh, oh my these God, guys, they're kicking my ass. These guys are playing with the DLC. I want to play with the DLC. I want to yeah. be cool like these fuckers. Yeah, and what's, yeah. And what's crazy is, is... And then they're like, oh, we're just patenting it. We didn't say we're going to use it. Yeah, well, bullshit. <laughs> uh, you'll use it as soon as you have the chance to use it, because you fucking patent you, you patent it. You just patent stuff for, like, no reason. Yeah, you, know? you do. You do. Yeah, but video game companies don't, God damn it, Matt. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, like uh, uh, I think it was Jim Sterling was talking about that, where it was, it was like, basically, uh, it wasn't only just because they got the DLC, but also purposely uh, putting people who were... Uh, possibly better than the player so that when they lost to them they would have the idea that maybe i need to have these items and pay for this dlc to get these items mm. to, to be as good as that person which is like totally even, predatory oh yeah it was even more potent is the fact that if you do buy that thing like i think i can't remember how i can't remember the specifics of it but like they basically up your chances of winning but like they either like adjust the stats slightly for like the first couple games you have yeah. to buy that dlc mm. like if you buy yeah. the gun suddenly like it has like maybe like 10 more points in firepower or something and like you're like oh i'm doing pretty good oh, oh no sweet. i think and, they just yeah. pitch you against lower ranked people because yeah. that Maybe would that be too. false advertising oh but yeah but then you see that fits perfectly with their whole thing about pitting people who have the the, the dlc right. which it, it, i guess makes them a bit better because the, the stuff's better and so as soon as you get it now you're part of the other side mm-hmm. you're getting pitted against these smaller people mm-hmm. they don't know i mean apparently i have some people have been doing this, not exactly like this for a while, but like for years of War 4, I can't remember who came out and said this, but it was like one of the people that worked yeah. on it, that uh, if you're a new player... Yeah, they pitch you against yeah easier well, people. No, that and they also like make your character like slightly faster or like mm. slightly like weighs a little bit less and like your accuracy is just a tiny bit better. Mm-hmm. So like, That's crazy. So, so that you're like you're guaranteed like to win like a get a few kills in your first few matches yeah i remember them and talking I'm, about that which yeah, like, in theory it the doesn't sound here. that bad because you're like no that's yeah. not bad i'm just saying that, like they've been messing with stuff like that for a while now mm-hmm. not activision specifically but just game companies in general yeah, yeah. trying to figure out how to hook people into their games mm-hmm. and that makes but more I, sense when you're like oh i want people to have a good first experience when it comes to my multiplayer part especially if it's such a big part of the game yeah Mm-hmm. And then if they get in and then they get wrecked, they're like, I'm never going to play this. Yeah, some people will just straight up be like, like nope. I've done that before, too, where I'm like, mm-hmm. got into a lobby for something, got destroyed. I'm like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I don't really want to play this anymore. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, it's like really disheartening if like if you're matched with like people in like your similar similar like level range or whatever mm-hmm. and you get completely destroyed. It doesn't like give you any confidence to like actually play the game. It's like yeah, to get better. Why would I why would I play this if people my level of Destroy people me. that are at my level are just like completely wrecking me? Like, I yeah. I don't want to invest in that much time into this game. I just wanted to play it for a little bit. But which honestly, looking at that, uh, uh, if if Activision actually put that in a game, it would not make me mm-hmm. want to play it more. Because if I saw a game where I had to have the DLC to be better, I just wouldn't play it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm not going to spend Well, at money. that point, it's pay to win. Yeah. yeah. And and it would immediately get lambasted. I would think so, at least. I would hope. Yeah, as soon as it got data mined. Yeah, as soon as it got data mined. Uh, but yeah, let's yeah. move on to the next actual topic. But that was good. Now, I'm, I'm glad you remember that. Because that's, uh, that's something that I'd seen about as well. Uh, all right. We got, we got the... Uh, uh, the connect has been disconnected uh, <laughs> for good. Um, 
So uh, Microsoft is no longer uh, making or releasing the Kinect, and they're not going to use it for the Xbox, I'm assuming? No. And no, I, not like and, at all. And <laughs> I just want to know what took them so long to be like, we should stop making these. It feels like someone lost a memo four years ago, and they're mm. like, okay, stop making the Kinects, and then that memo got lost, and then they just kept making them. And they're like, well, we haven't gotten an order to stop. Yeah, and you know what? Let's actually update it and release it with the, uh, the Xbox uh, One. Um, and then, oh shit! Nobody, nobody wants to do that. They just want to buy the game. Okay, okay. Uh, the, the actual thing. Let's let's just release the Xbox One without the Kinect as well. And okay, let's just stop releasing it entirely. <laughs> yeah, you kind of like destroyed my joke, but okay. Uh, okay, well, my bad, dude. Just wanted to bring up the fact well, that they had released, yeah, you know, yeah, that whole thing. Well, like, we we kind of talked about this before the stream, but like, really, the Kinect was like basically everybody's reaction to the Wii. Like, Wii's like, oh, we got motion controls. And PlayStation's mm -hmm. like, oh, we, we got, have full we body. got PlayStation Move. Mm -hmm. And then Xbox's the like, we got heat sensors. <laughs> also, we paid a lot of money to be in uh, fucking uh, Paranormal Activity 3. Oh, I remember that, yeah. Or 2. Yeah, I think it was 2. It wasn't 2, it was 2 or 3. Yeah, it was 2 or 3. But uh, d did you ever see that, Fiscake? They, uh, they have a whole scene where they had the connect running and it was dark and then and they, they had could, like the infrared mode where it shoots all the lasers and they were seeing like the the ghost or whatever in the room or something like a that demon. what demon yeah okay fine i'm not trying to get too much into detail all right we could go all all day about paranormal activity we're kind of like all right fans get the podcast right now we're getting into semantics about ghosts and demons <laughs> and devils and everything no <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah and then no, i didn't uh, see that it, it it almost almost plays like literally an advertisement for it like oh yeah the connect you can do this with the connect and like they should do the connect like <laughs> who gives yo, a shit about infrared vision uh, you can do that with fucking you can see demons with phones. the dude you gotta have that in your house it's mandatory uh, yeah, that's true i forgot apparently I forgot. Some, a lot of ghost hunters use it that's not a joke because well, it's probably actual I mean, infrared. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if it's actual infrared, that makes sense. But like, and outside the gaming sphere, the, the Kinect was actually pretty revolutionary. But inside the gaming sphere, <laughs> fucking bullshit dance party stuff. They just they just uh, went to the they were pandering to the wrong group of people. That's what yeah. happened. Yeah, they should have pandered to scientists. It should have been the Ghost Catcher, not the Kinect. <laughs> the Ghost Catcher or go or Ghost Connect. Oh Jesus. Oh the ghost the Ghost Connect. Connect. Oh boy. Uh. Connect so, yeah, with the afterlife. Guys, we all know you've been waiting for the Connect to come out with more updates, more mm -hmm. features, such as like 3D sound and real mm -hmm. vision and shit like that. But yeah. it's gone. <laughs> it's guys, gone. you got you should have bought more of it. You should have bought three Connects for your house. Even yeah. if you have bought, one Xbox. We bought one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we had the original Connect. We Kinect. literally used it like twice. I used it way mm -hmm. more than that. Um, we also bought the PlayStation Move. Used that like twice. Yeah, mm. we use that mostly to do the sword fighting mini game and that one like little pack of stuff. Yeah, and the disc golf, yeah. that disc golf. Yeah, they had the disc golf. That was actually kind of fun. I think uh, everybody got for the Xbox 360, and I, me and my friends when we went to my friend's house, we just pretty much used it to play Netflix. We just say Netflix, play. Mm. Netflix, yeah. Stop. We, we we rarely used it for the intended purposes of like interacting with video games. Well, yeah. Well, when I got my Xbox 360, I, I got like two, I think two of those like Connect specific games. And I played them at like, you know, it was, it was like a family thing where like, oh, people were taking turns on the Kinect. And that happened like twice. And then that's like, that was it. That was my entire mm -hmm. usage of the Kinect. I'm like, oh yeah, we're going to play this Kinect racing thing where you got to like crouch and do stuff. And that was it. Yeah. yeah. That's what happens when you like, you, you go too hard in on a gimmick. And, but then at the same time, yeah. not even like utilize it in a good way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah. yeah. So yeah. the Kinect's being, dis uh, you know, disconnected and yeah, yeah. Uh, it's down. good riddance. Mm-hmm. Do uh, the, the the gun salute thingy. Uh, 21. Let's just get 21 of the guns so we only have to shoot once. Can we do that? Because I'm going to spend all day on this. Yeah, that's fine. No, that's, that's fine. <laughs> Put it's it in the budget. budget. <laughs> okay, so I... Uh, Fiskeek, want to tell us about the voice actor for Eli Vance? Oh, yeah. Um, Robert Gallup. No. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Ga Guillaume? Yeah, yeah Robert Guillaume. Gallamy also he he voiced uh, Eli Vance in Half Life Two, and he voiced Rafiki. We found out earlier in Lion King. He unfortunately passed away uh, at the age of eighty nine. Which he suffered? I, let's see. No, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say. I mean, you know, good on him. Uh, eighty nine years old. That's you know, that's no small feat. Yeah. Yeah. He uh, apparently like you were saying this. Like he was a really like into acting before, like he was in musicals and stuff. He's yeah, been, he got a Tony he Award. Tony. Actually, 
He's been acting since 1959, apparently. So um, yeah. I guess he was in a sitcom called Soap. So yeah, he, he unfortunately passed away. Uh, it's kind of rough because, you know, yeah. we'll never, that's for sure that we'll never see Half-Life 3 now. So, oh, yep. Yeah. That's, that's, that, that's definitely, that's the reason that, why. That was the one link, and now it's gone. Gone the wind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't really give a shit about Half Life 3. So, <laughs> you know, nothing of value was lost for me. Yeah. Yeah. But, but for people who are fans, yeah. you know. Yeah. Man, it sucks for you. He's, he's gone. Yeah. I mean, he was a good voice actor, you know. We thought we just mentioned it because, you know, he's. Oh, wait, like, no. There would have been Half Life 3. He died at the end of Half Life 2, episode 2, anyway. Wow, dude. Everybody. Spoilers. Wow. I can't believe you would spoil a 10 year old game. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Um, uh, so yeah, he's gone. So what? What we got next? We got. We've been uh, talking too much shit about Connect. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, we have uh, YouTube monetization, and there was an update to that. Oh, oh, tell me, tell ooh, me more. T- I, I will tell you. Uno momento. No, do, por favor. The, the, the only thing I know is that like I had like two pages of videos that were not recommended for advertisers and then i checked it before we started streaming and now it's down to like three videos really wow so, it actually had like a, an effect oh my god yeah. i'm gonna go check ours so uh youtube rolls out <laughs> a, the the first update to fix major de- demonetization problems 30 percent less videos will be de- will be demonetized and so what they're saying is that uh basically they have updated the algorithm with what people have been kind of telling them hey this is not you know this is not something that should be limited for ads, and so they've been going in and. Oh, kind of, a lot of ours got. Uh, yeah, holy shit! We used to have as well. two full pages, and now we're only down to eight. Um, <laughs> Almost all the Outlast stuff got. Wow, I, that's actually the last thing I expected not to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, yeah uh, but what about the Alice, Fallout the Jason Voorhees? What, what's wrong with that? Why, why is this not advertiser yeah. friendly? How come Fallout the Thirteenth Jason Voorhees Chapter One that has seven thousand views not suitable for advertisers? Hello, we have people watching it. I don't understand. Oh, I'm about to dispute yeah, that, that bitch. Oh, we can dispute actually dispute it. that because we have over a thousand views. Yeah, just, nice. you, you dispute that. I'll go. Uh, I'll go more on this. Uh, there will be a thirty percent reduction in the number of videos receiving limited ads as they move to be fully monetized. In other words, millions more videos will become fully monetized. And I'm glad that, that was an automatic thing because I was afraid by the way it was worded that you would have to just dispute it. But and, and and that no longer would they be using the same ways to do it. But it looks like they're literally retroactively going back in and kind of making another sweep and uh, mm-hmm. overhauling it entirely. Which is pretty awesome. So yeah, I mean, good on YouTube for taking action. Um, yeah. they should have taken action sooner, but you know, at least they did something. Well, one, I'm glad that it's working better now. But two, you shouldn't base you shouldn't use like baby formulas for algorithms that's de- dedicated for people's uh, income, their yeah. livelihood, yeah. all that shit. You shouldn't be like testing that shit <laughs> you should you should try like like on a smaller group like maybe like just work on like yeah uh, all us little like, guys like a specific, yeah just all the little people like maybe like try like a region you know or yeah. something like something like, like i don't know small. like 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 uh some place that we don't yeah, yeah they don't got iceland. a lot of youtubers yeah yeah that's fine yeah just, just do work. all five of iceland's youtubers we should be fine uh, pewdiepie's in in the, sweden we're, we're, he's sweden yeah yeah, yeah it's so just sweden just go just start with Sweden and then I kind of like branch out, but yeah. 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 And start as far away from America as possible when you said, when you test this shit, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. There's a billion people trying to make their livelihoods on YouTube. You can't, you can't do that to us, man. Yeah. For real. God. Yeah. I think they, what they heard is uh, I tweeted them up. Oh like, yeah. Two weeks ago. Yeah. Matt. I lit them up. Yeah. Matt lit them up on, on Twitter. They didn't respond, but I feel oh. like this yeah, is them but responding. I feel like this is them responding. Yeah. You know, yeah, I didn't like, want to have to oh, call shit. P Diddy. So, oh, yeah, I mean, if you had to call PD, <laughs> oh, that would have been, uh, it would have been that's bad. more serious that, shit. That yeah. Stuff would have happened. Um, but, uh, I mean, that's good news. Like, yeah. yeah. And especially I, since like most of our videos got yeah, we fixed. Had, yeah. Mm-hmm. Most of the ones that were actually demonetized. So I can't wait yeah. to see if our, but I'm uh, still not going to, we're not going to change the way that we format. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're still going to do uh, uh, the live stuff instead of the, well, yeah, if they're, the, if they're this willy nilly about, you know, like I said, like the income of people who base their lives on this, then yeah, you got to brand, you got to diversify your income, mm-hmm. so to speak, or whatever, I guess. Yeah. That's, well, also, it's probably better that we stream anyways. So it works out. Yeah. 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 Fuckers. All yeah. right. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, YouTube, YouTube, uh, you know, doing okay stuff. It's kind of uh, Papers, Please. You remember, everyone remembers that game. It's a pretty good game. Uh, they're coming out with a short film. 
and they have a trailer and everything, a teaser. And, mm. um, and apparently, I, I haven't seen the teaser or a trailer, but uh, Fiska, you saw it, and it apparently seems pretty good. So explain what Papers, yeah. Please is to the people who don't know what Papers, Please is. Um, well, basically, you play as a... Uh, what's Border the word? Patrol. Border Patrol agent for uh, a, a fake country called... Arstatska. Arstatska, yeah, that's right. That's the one. I I, I forgot to actually uh, relook this up. Oh God. Okay, but, so um, yeah, I I know what it is. Anyway, well, no, I mean, yeah, no, but basically, yeah, yeah. you're a border patrol agent, and you, you you're supposed to like accept people that are coming in if they fit the criteria. Mm-hmm. They have to have which the right. Seems, shit. Yeah, which seems like pretty like straightforward but like in later levels it gets more complicated Mm -hmm. and you have to like manage all of it so you have to stamp Mm -hmm. their thing you have to look at their envelopes you have to look at their picture Mm -hmm. and then you have Mm -hmm. to look at them and you look back at the picture then you look at them and then uh all sorts of other shit Mm -hmm. it's it's a yeah and like it gets more complicated later on because like people are trying like start a revolution and you got to decide if you're like want to be part of that revolution because apparently you're working for like a not not the best state of Arstoskosia. Arstotska. Arstotska. <laughs> so it, it gets, it's pretty inter- it's a pretty good drama. And I think it's it's actually I'm surprised like it hasn't been made a movie until now, really. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. It's a good concept because the the mm. through line that happens throughout that game, because uh you know, you you're doing this kind of slightly tedious task, but then they give you it gets yeah, harder and harder because you have to pay attention. A, it's an older game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh you have to pay attention to like details when you're doing it but you also have to be fast you have to get people through um and then they start throwing in this kind of like through line of like hey we're with this group you know you should let us in and stuff mm-hmm. like that but like if you get and caught you also have to feed your family yeah to you have make to money your, yeah so you, you have yeah. to get there's an amount of people you have to get through to be able to make your your quota mm-hmm. um so it's a really cool concept and actually <clears throat> uh we have a first impressions video that we made of this game when it came out on our youtube channel on you know, Gaming do we TV. really yes we do I had no idea. <laughs> Was I, I there? I think you did the first impressions, man. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, I did it. Check it out. And it's real good. Uh, you guys should uh, watch it. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, we literally made that video like fucking four or five years ago. Yeah. But yeah, it's a good game. It's uh, it's kind of short, but like it's worth multiple playthroughs because you want to get better and better. And you don't really beat the game the first time you try. It's kind of like a oh, roguelike. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like scenario. a roguelike, but without any of the roguelike things. My favorite thing about it was the atmosphere because it, it nailed his atmosphere. Yeah, it has such a good, like, communist kind of Eastern European type vibe. Basically, Russia. Mm. Yeah. Our thoughts go, Matt. Also, they came up with another game that was like it by the same people that was a similar gameplay, but I don't remember what that game was called. Yeah, I don't remember either. Came up with the game like maybe two or three. Well, anyways, they're making a movie, yeah. so that should be cool. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's a short film, so I don't know how long it's going to be, but I, you know, I'll look into it. You know, I'll watch it. Should be pretty good. Hmm. Yeah. All uh, right. Oh wow, we're getting towards the uh, the, the end here. Uh, Fisk, you want to tell us about Neo Gaff getting gaffed? <laughs> I just love that title more than anything in the entire history of the whole thing. So, for most for most people, if you don't uh, frequent Neo Gaff forums, then you probably want to like you probably want to understand the importance of this, but um. Basically, Neil Gaff is a forum for people who, uh, for like video game developers, video game enthusiasts to kind of just talk about video games and whatnot. Um, the one week I did check it out, which was like last week, I found out that they were making that uh, Shin Megami Tensai announcement. Yeah. That I was trying to talk about last week, which, oh, forgot to do an update. They're announcing Shin Megami Tensai 5 for the Switch. Oh, nice. so that's. Nifty. So that's what that that announcement was. Anyways, the owner of NeoGaf has been kind of like under hot water in the past about uh, allegations against him with like sexual assault against people and whatnot. Yeah, and, there's um, proof of him bragging about it on his like in on the yeah. site. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, he's uh, not not the not the best guy apparently, mm-hmm. and um, due to like. Well, not due to the Harvey Weinstein thing, but like a lot of a lot more people have been coming out recently and um, um, against this kind of thing. Again, yeah, like they've been uh, more encouraged. They've been encouraged to kind of come out like, okay, well, 
if they're coming out against Harvey Weinstein, they're going to probably talk about this. Yeah. And um, the original allegation was made by Texas filmmaker Ema Loop on Facebook saying, I couldn't come out about the situation but because the perpetrator is a semi-famous man who would have retaliated and I couldn't afford to defend myself, she told Waypoint. The da, 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 refutes allegations made against him. Oh, and the guy, basically, the owner of NeoGAF completely ref, um, uh, refutes this. And he says, an allegation of sexual misconduct has been made against me by an ex. He it reads, it's not true. The individual making the accusation isn't credible. The story doesn't reconcile logically with the facts. And there's plenty of evidence and witnesses to corroborate that. It'll be a process. But um, for like a day or two, NeoGAF forms were down mm-hmm. because of this because of this whole thing. And now he brought it back up saying like, no, no I'm here to stay. You're not going to take me down. But everybody on the forums are trying to leave. Cause fun fact, you can't be a, to participate in like comment on Neo Gaff to be a member of Neo Gaff. You have to be invited to, um, to be part of the forums. Wow. So it's like exclusive. And, yeah. Yeah. And like and actually very if I hard the, left. Like they're, yeah, yeah. Like I, I can't remember who it was. I think it was some guy from Giant Bomb. He said he tried to. He like he applied to be a member of NeoGaf, and it mm. took him a year to get accepted. Jesus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's a pretty, pretty hard thing. But now people are leaving that site like left and right. Mm-hmm. So now, so now people are kind of like wondering like where where are these um like uh. Ah, what's the word? Because also NeoGAF had like people who would kind of like do like leaks and whatnot, like saying like, "Oh, this game is going to yeah. come out," or "This yeah. is this is going to happen." Yeah, that's what you're saying with so, the Shin Megami Tensei thing. It's like you found out about that before they made the announcement. Yeah, so there people are just kind of like wondering, like, "Well, where where is where are we going to get our leaks at?" And that's like the only reason why people are staying. Yeah, but but if that's the only reason you're staying, you're still kind of a shitty person for kind of hanging out with. The, well. And, on- yeah, on at top the very of that, least. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Well, I wouldn't. I, 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 that's like being like, oh, this. Everybody in some country is bad because they're there. You know. What well, I mean? if you're on a website posting in the forums and whatnot, like you are directly supporting the forum, when there's like literally other kinds of ways to get your information about leaks and whatnot. Yeah, you could just, I, I mean, guess, yeah, go somewhere else. Sure, there's alternatives. But mm-hmm. I, I don't want to condemn the whole Neo Gaff people oh, no, just because they don't want to leave. Oh, yeah. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna get them all mad. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no I yeah. get your point. Fuck them. Yeah. Well, the, I'm fuck. like, you maybe not fuck them. You're like, fuck them. No, oh, no, they're getting fucked. I'm gonna fuck them. I'm gonna uh, do it. Apparently, even more stuff's happening because uh, I was I was reading in, in in another article that came out just a couple days ago. They were talking about how uh, they uh, the moderators shut down all non video game specific uh forums so they could kind of quell the the uh mm-hmm. the conversation about what's going on and yeah. people got mad about that and started making um more posts on uh like more threads on the actual video games portion of it uh basically making suicide posts to just like uh to oh what's the word uh get their account banned? protest oh protest. to purposely oh, get their okay. their their account uh Band just so they can make like a statement because they're like, hey, you're, oh, wow. you're kind of uh, ruining like discourse here by just f- forcing people not to speak about what's going on. Yeah, they're, they're censoring the the shit. Mm. Yeah, they're censoring the shit. So and and they're just banning people left and right apparently, and people are mm. pissed fucking off about it. And I don't blame people wanting to stick around in that type of community if they're. I mean, if if they're not just there for the leaks, if they're actually there and they like talk to people and they have like relationships and there's like a literal a community in there, then I could see how people w- would want to try to hold on as much as they can. Mm-hmm. But a- at the same time, when they're doing like this level of stuff, I can see mm-hmm. why uh, th- those who are taking the plunge are just like, you know what, fuck it, I don't care if I get banned. This needs to be said, you know. Yeah. Um, I actually like when the, I checked it out today, NeoGAF forums to see what's going on. Yeah, and like one of the top posts is like people. Some guy did like the graphs for a for NeoGAF, and for a site called ResetEra.com, which I'll post a link here about like doing like a basically versus graphs, like how many posts they've had in the last few days, how many topics they've had, how much discussion the moderators have done, and whatnot. 
So that might be a thing to kind of check out later on if you guys are into checking out video game leaks and whatnot and you don't... I won't say, like, you're going to be, like, necessarily grouped in with, at the very at the very best, like, a hardcore creep. But uh, if, you wa- if you wanted to do check, like, out an alternative link, the resetair.com seems to be, like, the best next option, but... Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, well, I think we'll probably end up just keeping our, our eye on it just for, you know, topics. I get mm-hmm. all my information from Russian sites. Russian, yeah, that's very good. <laughs> yeah, specifically, of the, specifically of the from, uh, yeah, specifically from Donald Trump's son, right? Oh, yeah, of course. He, he's well, got I mean, like, I, I, like... Matt wasn't making a goof, I wasn't but joking. we're making it into a goof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were checking out Russia. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was... Oh, well. Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> I got. I made it political. No. <laughs> we'll just uh, delete this part of the. Yeah, we'll go in and find this exact it. time code. Um, yeah, I'll just. I'll edit it out. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but yeah. So that's kind of what's going on with Neil Gaff. Kind of big, big stuff. Uh, and that leads us to the end of the television show. When I say television show, I mean web show. When I say web show, I mean Twitch show. Uh, yeah, in fact, we thought we would we wouldn't have, have enough topics. We were gonna have to go into new releases, but you know what? Look that shit up yourself. Uh, there's Halloween sales on Steam. Oh yeah, GOG, yeah. I'm a bundle. Check out your local video game seller for Halloween bullshit. Okay, we're cool. Done. All right, right. Fiscate, Where can people find you? You can find me everywhere. I'm omnipresent. Um, on YouTube.com/slash Superfiscake. For some reason, I thought I changed the title. It still hasn't changed for some reason. I'll have to look into that. I've been uploading videos recently. If you want to see like me actually trying to play video games, check out my Cuphead videos. Yeah. If you want to see me try to actually like voice characters and whatnot, check out my Doki Doki Literature Club videos. Oh, I can't. Yeah. See, I think you would be a good voice actor because you have a good like recognizable voice that's also pleasant to listen to. Oh well, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> but go on. Uh, so. Yeah. That was my yeah. two cents. No, that's it. <laughs> no, he's so really you should good. look into that. By it. You should yeah. look into that. <laughs> so check out my Doki Doki Literature Club if you want to be soothed into um, female teenagers in high school sounding like very gross old men. Because I, I I don't give them good voices. I give a very uncharacteristic voice. I, I think Natsuki has probably the most characteristic voice, but mm. she just sounds like a frog girl for some reason. So. <laughs> Nice. So that that's just where I went with that. Um, so I'm on that. I've also been streaming on Fridays recently out of nowhere. I mean, Evie just sometimes she works evenings and she's worked Friday evenings for the last two weeks and it just became convenient. Ah, uh, nice. And, more money and more time for video games. Yeah. So twitch.tv slash fistcake. You can check me out there. Oh, uh, Lifters are giving you props and chat. Uh, yeah. I agree. You've I agree. got a nice yeah. voice for fistcake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good for a cake. Oh God, I'm getting getting all steamed up here. With all oh, these no. compliments. Oh boy. And then also, I, I I tweet stuff sometimes, mostly just like me yelling about random shit mm-hmm. at Twitter.com/slash the fizz cake. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, if you follow him, you'll most likely see a GIF that I will post uh, in response to his heartache. Yeah, for every for every cap, all caps tweet i have matt usually has a complete gif response to that so yep it's glorious check it out there but hey well, where can people find your twitter guy well uh, twitter amongst other things uh yeah. we have uh it's at neanderthal gtv and that goes directly to matt's phone so feel free to blow him up and uh as far if i get blown up <laughs> i'm stopping that shit <laughs> okay <laughs> so be forewarned <laughs> uh but uh as far as our, our videos, all of our uh, – I'm going to actually go backwards this time. So you can find us on <laughs> Twitch at twitch.tv slash TV. If you're already here watching us live, then you don't need to be told that. But if you're on YouTube, that's, uh, that's where we live. That's where, where we make our home. And we stream every day but Thursday and Friday. Um, so it's, 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 it's like Mondays we got Tales of Missouri, Tuesdays. Actually, we don't really stream on our channel anymore for Tuesdays now that I think about it because it all goes to Com- Comcast. Well, until we do the next game. Until we do the next game, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, on, on Wednesdays, we do Shadow of War, and we have uh, Saturday mornings, uh, which, you know, we're in the Pacific Northwest. So Saturday mornings, we do Melee, and usually net play is what we try to do that day. And if we can't do, make net play that day, we do it on Sunday, the same day that we do Smash 4. 
But uh, to find our YouTube channel, it's youtube.com slash TV. And we put all of our streaming content over onto our YouTube channel in the form of episodes. I'm sure if anybody's watched us do our Smash content, they'll know that we, uh, we time our Smash episodes so that we can make sure that we have intros and outros and that everything feels nice and, and, and good and the experience is whole. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically it for our stuff. Let's go to the content complete specific information. So content complete, uh, has its own, uh, Twitter account is where you can find out when we're going live for stuff for the podcast and for into the veil, uh, on Tuesdays. And also if we have any particular announcements as far as what game we're playing next or anything like that, that's over at concomcast. If you have any questions, send us an email, send us some questions. We, uh, we just read our first, uh, question last week from, I think, Butternut? Yeah, mm-hmm. Butternut69, our official green screen for both of our things, so, you yeah. know. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, so, you know, you, you'll get answered. Ask us questions, mm-hmm. make suggestions. Um, over at con- constantcompletecast at gmail.com. Of course, we have our Twitch uh, channel, uh, twitch.tv slash concomcast, and the uh, uh, the podcast, actually, if you're watching this on YouTube, the podcast goes live uh, every Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Central. And all the videos get uploaded to Neanderthal Gaming TV, our YouTube channel. Uh, mm-hmm. All episodes are available on YouTube, like I said. Audio-only version of the podcast is available on your favorite podcasting app. That's right. You can listen to us in sound. And both are released on Wednesdays. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, any last words, guys? No. I'm I just good. want to ask real quick. If, we, if they can't listen to us to in sound, how else would they be able to listen to us? Well, you see, actually, our visual portion of the show uh it's actually been made for uh people who uh who can't hear so we have we have, we have a sign language interpreter uh, if you don't see him right now it's because he's taking the week off he's also <laughs> taking the last 30 weeks off mm-hmm. but you know we're, we're trying to get him in here we're trying to get him in here <laughs> oh um i was actually going to say something but i forgot oh it, also this week for like the couple next couple of weeks the 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 con comcast videos will be on my channel Yes, for Into the Veil. So I'll, I'll go Turn to Fistcake's so. channel on YouTube uh, for our Lucius playthrough. And um, I highly recommend it because yeah. we, mm. we make fun of that game. So hard. Yeah. yeah. So hard. relentlessly. It's, it's not a good game. I would not recommend it to <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't we recommend it to We play it so you don't have to. Worse than me. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. <laughs> we're, we're the guinea pigs. Um, um, but uh, last thing I want to say is we have a Discord, and there should be a link in uh, the show notes for the podcast as well as for uh, our YouTube channel uh, videos. We have a, a link for that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for listening and watching, and we'll talk at you next time. Peace. Bye. Hey. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus.